<laughs> Thank you for being here today. Um, this is one of the biggest pleasures of my life to read at Open Books, um, read one of Claudia's poems at Open Books, but also um, to introduce Claudia Castro Luna, who has represented us so beautifully in Seattle. I was just telling her that knowing her is like meeting a new marvelous and amazing continent. <laughs> and the way she brings people together. And I, was, I just want to thank a lot of the people in the audience, because all of you also are looking at <laughs> all these great people that bring people together. That's what we do. So, Claudia is, I want to read a little bit from the introduction so that you will be compelled to buy the book, okay. all of you. When she told me about this project, I left everything I was doing in the summer. Um, and I felt I had to write about this. In this epic poetry collection, Killing Marias, Claudia Castro Luna both poetically and physically settles spaces previously unclaimed by Latinas. Her inscription of the disappeared women of Juarez is a live cartographic image of struggle and spiritual survival vis-a-vis -vis the erased history of femicide, femicidio. The wound, the border, represents is in Castro Luna's hands, not only an open wound as Chicano author and theorist Gloria Saldua named the borderlands, but a scar with the names of Marias as intricate, meaningful, and compelling stitches. Or is it letters? Earth tattoos that culturally scaffold a justice skeleton for the killed, tortured, brutalized, and largely invisibilized women of the border, the fronterizas, that we, as a Western culture and bordering country, have socially buried in more than one way. In no other part of the world would the lives of more than 600 young and healthy women become an unnamed historical period. It is important to clarify that numbers are blurred, that we have not even bothered to count the numbers of women killed. <laughs> 